Who's there? Who's there? Who? This is my house, so who are you? This is your house, so how come I'm here? And why am I in your bed half naked? Wait. Did, did we do it? Can you imagine your question? I was drunk last night and you took advantage of me. I was drunk too. I remember seeing you at the club. You walked up to my table. Uh, and we... We got talking. I had more drinks and we drank. Maybe we drank too much. Now that I'm thinking of it, I remember you made me drunk. How can you say I followed you home? I was drunk and I was vulnerable and you, you, you took advantage of the fact. Hey, 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 hey. Watch your mouth. You're in my house. You might want to watch your phone. Do you know the company I run? Do you know the properties and assets that are in my name? Do you even know what I am worth? And what does all this got to do with the situation on ground? Everything. You, you should be grateful that I brought you home. Brought you to this mansion. I should be grateful you brought me home? I was vulnerable and I opened my legs. You opened your legs? Oh please, don't make it sound like I raped you. You were drunk, yes. But were you dead? You know why? You're cheap. Please get out of my house.
Stop! Wicked, wicked man. I don't claim you. Listen, listen. Stop it. Good, good morning, sir. Who are you? I am here to see you, sir. Is that who you are? No, sir. Actually, I've been at your workplace severally to see you. But it's either you're busy or not on seat. So? So I decided to look for your house and come see you. Have you lost your mind? Sir? No, tell me. Because it looks like you lost your mind. Oh, you've been trying to look for me at my company and haven't had the chance. So you decided to come to my house thinking that your problem will be solved? How did you not realize that you haven't been able to see me? Is because you are nobody. No, tell me. All right, fine. So why have you been looking for me everywhere? Am I with your destiny? No, sir. Oh. A pastor told you that I have your glory because obviously you've lost it. Yeah. And what's that? And why are you still standing here? I am still standing here because you've not done the right thing. And what is the right thing? Your pay? I was actually expecting you to apologize. But after seeing how rude and arrogant you are, I think you should be apologizing to yourself for being a nuisance instead. You know what you are? A slut and more. Fool. Sir, you haven't, um, you haven't asked me why I'm here. What do you want? A job in your company. What qualifications do you have? BSc in accounting and masters in... Enough! I asked about your qualifications, not your biography. Anyway, I have a position for you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, I, I really appreciate it. But you will not be working in my company, sir. You'll be walking right here in my house as my gate man. Hmm? Gate man? Yes, obviously, because if there was a gate man, you wouldn't have just walked into my compound without properly screening. Gate man. You don't like it? Hold on, hold on. Who are you? Hey, 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 hey! Ah, ah. Madam, take it easy now. Eh? You just walked in and you, you, you're entering inside. Who are you looking for? I should be asking you that question. Who are you? Because the last time I checked, this is my boyfriend's house and he doesn't have a gate man. Oh, oh yes, you're right. But now he does. Uh, he has a gate man now. And I'm his gate man. This must be some sort of joke. Right? I am not joking. I am doing my job. I am telling you the truth. I just told you that this is my boyfriend's house. I'm his girlfriend. My ogre did not tell me he has a girlfriend. Don't you understand? Babe, and by your gate and some man who calls himself your gate man won't let me in. Please be fast. I hope you called the right person. Yes. Uh, uh, Oga, Oga, imagine this girl. She just walked in and was entering inside. Hey. How are you doing? Good. You all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Good. That's so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, sorry, excuse me. Oh, 
Hey, hey Isabel. Oh, wow, I know. Okay, I tried to stop her, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. This is my friend Evelyn, your original girlfriend. Yes. Yeah. Listen to me carefully. She must not know of anything that happens in this house, most especially when it comes to anything that has to do with Regina. Okay, Reg the other black one. God bless you. Okay. I'll not tell her. Shh. Because your boyfriend is just the best. I mean, there's no how he'll see you and not want to get married to you. I mean, he's the best. <laughs> sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Always ready. Well, wow, that you don't like this time, oh. True, true. Girlfriend. Yeah, it's too pricey. Yes. No, 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 it's of course not. Oh, my friend. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> wow. Isabel, my friend, just called me and gave me a list of her Shribi. Can you imagine? The price is a hundred thousand naira. <laughs> wow. A hundred thousand naira? You can imagine. <laughs> Look, I have been spending so much on my friend's Shribi. Every year I keep buying and spending money. But they never get to buy mine. Um... Evelyn, hmm? it's good you're here. Honestly, I, I am very, very hungry. So can you please fix us something to eat? Are you being serious now? Yes, I am. I said I'm hungry. So get up and fix us something to eat. Hmm. Somebody is trying to wriggle out of the topic. <laughs> There's no topic in the first place. Um, Austin, we've been into this relationship for like. Listen, God. listen, Evelyn. I can't sit here and listen to this. like that. Honestly, I don't understand this. I, I, I really don't understand. Huh, Austin? Evelyn, I've told you times without number that this marriage talk should not come up except you get pregnant. Wow. Pregnancy before marriage. Jeez, where is that done? Where I come from. Well, where I come from, that is not done. Then go and marry where you came from. Austin, what has come over you? What is all this? Since the affairs of that company has been handed over to you, you've completely lost yourself. You can say whatever you like, but the fact still remains that I cannot get you engaged except I am 100% sure. 100% sure that you are not barren. Oh my God, four years. Four years of my life I've spent with you. And this is what you have to tell me? Four years of your life and so? Does that automatically mean I should settle down with you? Listen, Evelyn. Where I come from, a woman's fertility is tested before marriage to avoid stories. Well, where I come from, premarital pregnancy is a taboo. So what now? Austin, where is this relationship headed? 
the ball is in your court. The earlier you got pregnant, the earlier the engagement happens. is not back from the mechanic now, so it's this one. I'm still washing it. I didn't know you go out early. Let me quickly. You didn't know I would go out early? Yes, sir. Did you just say you don't know that I would go out early? Yeah? Did, did, did you just say that to me? Eh? Idiot! Are, are you deranged? You don't know that I would go out early? Oh. I don't, I don't blame you. I, I mean, how can I even blame you? People like you who does not have tangible things to do, does not know that real people like us, responsible people like us, go out for work early. I am sorry, sir. You, you are what? Did you just tell Austin Anderson that you're sorry? Do you know who I am? Do you know the things I have in my name? Okay, sorry. What do you mean? Will you just shut up? Shut up! Shut up while I talk! No, you think that this is your father's house where you can behave and do anyhow you like? Can your father build a mansion like this? Does your father live in a house like this? My father is late. Of course I know. A man that lived a miserable life cannot live long. Yes? You want to say something? Come on, say it, let me hear. If you know what is good for you, Get this car ready in two minutes. If not, you'll lose your job. Uh, good evening, madam. You can call me Ah, uh, Oh, I cannot address you by your name. Sorry, ma. But you don't even look younger than I am, so how would I feel comfortable with you calling me madam? But you are my august wife to be. I am answerable to you. So I should call you madam. Wife to be? Yes. That's actually why I came to you. Can we please go inside? I need to mm -hmm. talk. I mean, can you go in? I need an advice from you. Go, go inside. Ah, mm. no. <laughs> well, please, let's let's talk here. Oh, we can talk here. I'm, I'm fine here. Okay, if you insist. I insist. Um. Oh, okay, I'm not meant to be talking to you about this issue but I don't have anyone to speak to and I can't even talk to my friends because if I tell them this I'm going to be the center of discussion whenever I leave them um if it's something I can help you with uh, why not I'll, I'll, I'll help you um Austin and I have dated for like four years and all this while, there haven't been anything like an engagement. Four years? Four solid years. One, two, three, four. Four years. Ah, ah. What is Baoga waiting for now? Pregnancy. Pregnancy. How? Yeah. He believes that I have to get pregnant for him before he can even get me engaged. Oh. What kind of principle is that? I don't know. This is the same question I keep asking myself. In fact, I'm confused. 
all my friends, all of them, they keep getting married year to year. And here I am, I haven't even gotten an engagement ring. Ah, honestly, madam, I don't know what to say about this. So I don't really know what to say. Um, how about you help me speak to him on my behalf? Pardon? Please. Ah. Madam, this is not a matter of please. Though. I cannot talk to my ogre based on this particular one. Eh? Please, you, you need to help me. Alright, I, I really need your help. I'm, I'm helpless, sorry. My parents are expecting me to bring back a man to the house and I, I just can't let them down. I'm helpless, I, I need your help. Please help me talk to him. Please. Can I get on my knees? Oh, no, no, no. I'm just helpless. I'm sorry. Hey. Um, how was your day, Oga? Uh, uh, Oga, please, uh, there is something I want us to talk about. It's about your, your relationship with uh, my madam, Madam Evelyn. Yes, I, 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 I want us to, to talk about it like man to man. Oga, listen. If you don't want to marry her, eh, go ahead and tell her now. Eh? Instead of wasting her time, just tell her so that she will leave. Eh, which one is uh, pregnancy before marriage? Okay, who does that? Okay, it's, uh, four years old. Are you, are you okay? Yes, Oga. Does madness run in your blood? No. Oga, I, I thought we... we uh, it's a man-to-man -man talk. A man-to-man -man talk? This is a boy-to-man -man talk! And you don't have a place to involve yourself in my business! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Oga. Sorry, Oga. No, no, who, who do you think you are? Nothing. So because you live in the same compound with me, and you think you are now a family member, right? No, sir. Get yourself in my personal business again, and have yourself to blame. Just try me next time. Idiots. Riff Now inform yourself in my personal business. Are you mad? Evelyn! Oh. Evelyn! Vane? What is this nonsense? Oh, baby, you're back. How was your day? Why hey, don't baby me. Why, why would you stoop so low? Stoop so low? What are you talking hey, about? Hey, don't, don't touch me again. This man is violent. He's very violent. But come on. What gave me the courage to even ask him this question? Hi! I have the right to ask him this question. Former SUG president, eh? Aluta Continua. I, I, when I was in, when I was in school, I, I, I handled people like him now. Eh? People like him respected me. Because I I I I I I stood so long to, to be his gate man. I don't blame him. I blame myself. 
No problems. No problems. He, he has every right to push me. He has every right to, to, to say whatever. He, he, he should humiliate me. No problem. Because I'm his gate man. Imagine the way he, he almost jumped me now. This man is violent. He could be a killer. Talking to that low life of a gate man about us. It's so low of you. How could you do that? How could you stoop so low? Listen, the next time you try that rubbish with that gate man, I will be completely out of your life. Nonsense. Talking to a riffraff about your life. Nonsense. Do it again and see what I will do to you. Um, babe. You mean the money have not been deposited to my private account? Alright, alright. Give me some time, I'll get back to you. Yes, hello. Wait. They just told me that the money have not been deposited into my private account. What's going on? Oh, I can see you've gotten a job somewhere else and you don't know how to tell me. It's all right. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll help you with it. I'll help you. Kate. Kate, you're fired. What are you doing here? Just guess. There is nothing to guess because... You have no reason to come back to my house. Then you're obviously forgetting something. And what is that? What is this? You can see for yourself. I'm sure you can read. What's this rubbish? I know you a lot of things, but I didn't know you are blind. I know what you are. Or rather, I know who you are. You are a gold digger. <laughs> what has gold digging got to do with the pregnancy test result? Listen, Regina. You and I is not in a relationship. We only met once. Even if we were drunk, it was a one night stand. So I see no reason you should walk into my house with a pregnancy test result that reads positive. Oh yes, we were drunk. It was a one night stand. But does that stop me from getting pregnant? Okay. Fine. Fine. You're pregnant, right? Is this the first time you're getting pregnant? No, answer me. Is this the first time you're getting pregnant? What about those times you get pregnant for those boys? Those thoughts in the ghetto where you live? Do you keep the babies? So because you've seen just 2%, 2% of what I am worth, and you want to kill yourself. <sighs> Oh, are you done Branson? I guess yes. <clears throat> so, can we discuss co-parenting? It's funny. Co-parenting? You and who? You, of course. Listen, girl. Just listen. I owe my kids a good mother. Good mother! Oh, yes! I also owe my kids a reasonable and responsible father. But I've made the mistake already. 
Oh, Regina, calm down. You will do better next time. It's fine. When you're ready to reason, we can talk. And please, I need something chilled. I'm tired. It should be cold. Charles! Charles! Hmm. Okay, we can come here. Okay. Sorry. Good afternoon. I knew from day one that employing you is something I will regret. But I didn't just know that I would regret it so soon. Well, I'm sorry, I I was having a headache, so I decided to rest. That headache will kill you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm sure that headache is the reason you allowed that cheap slot into my house. Slot? Oh, oh that uh, young lady. Uh, okay, you know. Because that first day I came now, I saw two of you together. So I thought she's your... She's the assistant, madam. Charles. Oga. Okay. Charles. Oga. Okay. Don't even provoke the devil in me. Because if I unleash it, you will not like it. You will not even live to tell the world your story. I am sorry, Oga. Okay. Idiot. Thank sorry you. for yourself. Thank you, sir. Now go into that house and bundle that idiot out of my house. Is she still there? Go in there and bomb bundle at, uh, at once. Okay, sir. Okay, leave the gate open now. I should bundle you out. I'm a fool. Leave me alone. I, you have to leave here. Leave me alone. My uncle said I should bundle you leave out. Leave me alone. I'm bundling you. Leave me alone. I'm a fool. Stay. Don't leave. Leave me alone. 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 Leave me That's your slippers. Don't come back home. Yes, my Oga. Hey, Oga. Hard girl, eh? She's very heavy. Oh. She's very, very heavy. She's gone. You have your peace now. You have your... Hey. Hard girl. She's very, very heavy. Ah, ah. Oga? Oga? Aga, I wanted to ask if, uh, if I can go get something to eat because the little one that was remaining before
I can perceive something nice. Woof! Evelyn, what is this? Um, babe, we've spent so many years together. And I can beat my chest and say that you're the only man I want to spend the rest of my life with. I care about you so much. Austin, will you marry me? <laughs> this isn't a joke, right? No, it's not. I, I truly mean this. Gosh. Evelyn, are, are you this desperate? Jeez. Listen, Evelyn. No pregnancy, no engagement. Get that into your head. Who is, who is that? It's evening. It's evening. Ah, Madam. I know this will sound weird, but I really need someone to talk to. By this time of the night? Yes, I have no one to... What am I even thinking? I'm sorry, I'll just go back to the house. Hey, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, you... You knocked at this time of the night just to talk to someone. You must be needing the talk badly. Yeah. You, you can talk to me. 
Thank you. I grew up as an orphan, living with my foster parents. They treated me as their own until they got their own child. And then I was abandoned. From treating me as their own daughter to physically abusing me, mentally abusing me and emotionally abusing me. I left their house when I got older to get a life of my own. But the experience I got out there really had a bad impact on my self-esteem. Everywhere I go, I feel rejected. I couldn't speak to anyone. My self-esteem was so poor. I tried my best to build it, but I couldn't. To the extent that I thought of suicide. What? My friends. Okay. Continue. My friends who also feel rejected helped me to get a therapist. My therapist will always tell me to talk to someone, which I did. A few months ago, she committed suicide. Are you serious? People will always give the best advice, even when they, they need the advice as well, when they find themselves in such situation. And that's exactly what my therapist needed. She needed advice, she, she needed someone to talk to, but there was no one for her. One thing I learned from her death is to be the best version of myself, to work on myself. But the people that I can talk to, my friends, they are all married. And telling them my situation will only make, make them feel like I'm, I'm living a miserable life. Even when truly I am. Your life is not miserable. How do you know? You don't even know anything about me. Why don't we start from you telling me why you are still with this man who treats you like this? Where do I start from? Austin is the only family I have. I don't have anyone else. That's it? Do you think I love it this way? Do you think I'm, I'm okay with being rejected? Do you think I'm, I, I like it in this type of relationship with so many terms and conditions? I just don't have any choice. I, I just want to... I just want to be married. I just want to, to get married, have my children all around. I, I just want to be happy and not this. Um, Charles, come. Um, do you remember that girl you bundled out of here the other day? Yes, sir. When next she comes, let her in. Uh, but, but okay, you told me. I hey, hey, hey! Don't be a fool, please. Even if I'm not at home when she comes, 
please let her wait for me. All right? Hope all is well, sir. Open the gate for me, fool. Um, I prepared something sumptuous for you, so lunch is served. You can have your seats. Um, thank you very much, but I would rather take you to my room. Why? You know, a girl still will not be happy seeing me eating on his table. <laughs> so I have to take you to my room. But he's not home. And who is going to tell him? No, but, but... But but what? Charles, this is my little way of showing gratitude for giving me your time last night. That's all. Did you even have to do this? Uh, please, sit down and eat. This... Ah, uh, you're making me speak too much English. Sit down, it's just lunch, nothing else. Okay. Are you going to sit or not? So, how are you enjoying your job? Well, very well. And um, what course did you study? Is he coming here? Okay, okay. Okay. You're welcome. Where's Charles? He's not at his duty post.
Oh yeah, I sent him. Um, I sent him on an errand. I don't understand. Um, there's this package I'm expecting, so I sent him to get it for me. Evelyn. Hmm? Do you smoke? Sorry? Do you do drugs? <laughs> I, I don't understand. What do you mean? You sent my gitman on an errand. Yes. Is there any big deal in it? No, my darling. It's no big deal at all. As long as you would be the one paying his next salary. What? Yes, because I did not employ that boy to serve you. So you have just two options here. When he comes back, tell him that you would be the one to pay his next salary. Or you will be fired. What? Nonsense. I didn't do anything wrong, right? I should be asking you the exact question because this is my first time seeing you in this house but this is not my first time in this house <laughs> you still haven't answered my question I am Karen Austin's child well I don't know if that's enough introduction for you but Austin will do the rest Wait, who are you? Augustine, do you know her? Yes, I know, I know her. She said um, she's... Um, Anything she said is the truth. What? You haven't even heard what she, she said. Yeah, she, she was trying to say that. Um, what else that? would she say? That we met at the club, got drunk, came home together, had sex, and now she's pregnant. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can we talk in the room?
Oh, oh, Austin. Austin, wait, please. Austin. Austin, Austin, wait. So what now? I should be the one asking you that. I've thought about it and I decided to keep the child. Good. But there are conditions. What conditions? It's money that you need, isn't it? Money is important, yes. But there is more. I'm listening. Well, I need a comfortable place first. That I can arrange. No. I am moving in with you. What? Yes. Do you expect me to live alone? Like a single mom? Did I impregnate myself? See, we need to live together to take equal responsibility of this child. Regina, how can we live together? That lady you saw downstairs, do you even know who she is? Do I look like I care? That is my girlfriend. And I am the mother of your unborn child. Regina, no one is disputing that with you. But moving in with me is not a good idea. You don't have the right to tell me what is good for my baby and I. Um, can I have your phone? What for? Can I have your phone? My number. When you're ready to reason like a man, give me a call.
Austin, how could you? How could you do such a thing? The fact that you're not even apologetic about it is what is getting me so crazy. How could you? Apologetic about what exactly? About the fact that your foster father fulfilled all his sexual fantasies on you? Made you undergo several abortions? And now you're not even sure that you can even conceive? Oh, you want me to be apologetic for the fact that I am not allowing you pin your buried self on me in the name of marriage? Is that what you want? Is that what you're talking about? No, no. Is, is that what you want? Huh? Leave me alone. Is Leave that what you alone. want? Austin, because Austin, I'm allowing you in my, my house. Austin, 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 and he's so unapologetic about it. I tried confronting him and, and he, he abused me physically and, and verbally. Oh. I, I, I'm sorry. I am I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh my god. So now that he has always expecting a child, what are you going to do? I don't know. Of course. I I can't just throw away four years. We're talking about the child here. I can't go. Listen, this isn't just about the child. It's about you. Look at you. See what that monster did to you. Your body everywhere. Hey, hey, hey! Did you just... Did you just call my man a monster? I am not blind. I can see it. But I won't sit here and watch you call my boyfriend names. No, don't do that. Are you... Are you picking sides with him now? This is my boyfriend we are talking about. You don't say shit about him. No. And I am only trying to help. I don't blame you. I was the fool who invited you here to tell you my personal shit. That's why you have the earphone tree to call my boyfriend. What, what gods? Huh? Why? This is, um, this is just transfer of aggression. I think I have to go back. Yes, you should leave. You should leave now. I'm even stupid. I'm not meant to be talking to you in the first place. God, please leave. Shut the door when you leave. What rubbish? Please don't you ever try it again. I'm sorry, ma'am. Sorry for yourself. Can you imagine? Can you? I, 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 ah. Babe? Um, I made dinner. Please come and have dinner. So you think I'm a fool? You want to poison me? 
No. You know I can never do such. Evelyn or whatever you are called. You do have a home. Why don't you want to leave my house? We need to talk. And it should be over dinner. So, what do you want us to talk about? That pregnancy and the way forward. Evelyn, take your mouth out of my business. That pregnancy is off limits for you to talk about. Can you get pregnant? No. So why on earth should someone like you discuss about another woman's pregnancy? Austin, can you listen to yourself? Do you know the gravity of what you just did? Like, wait, hold on. You've been insisting that I get pregnant before you get me engaged. You told me it has to do with some traditional rights of yours. Are you now letting me know that it has nothing to do with it, that you just want to see if I can conceive? Is that it? Evelyn, the question now is, can you conceive or not? I have intentionally tried so many times to get you pregnant, but nothing to show for it. Just one night, just one single night with that strange girl, I'm about to become a father. Now, back to my question. Can you conceive or not? I guess as much. Has this book. What is going on here? What does it look like? The queen has come to take over. Over? Where? Charles, take this box out. Ma? Take the bag out! You dare not touch my box. I said, take this bag out of here. Send her out. Ma. I cannot take any bag out. Though. Oga has the final say. Where is Oga? I said take this out of here! Don't, 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 don't just try me. You want to fight me? Touch it. I said leave this place. Charles, take this out of here. I am waiting. Take the box out! Take, don't try me. Take, I am hey, 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 hey. Stay here. Hey, hey, you will not hey, hey, hey. No, you will not. Hey, what, is, what is going on here? What is the meaning of this? She wants to move in. Evelyn, what is wrong with you? Have you lost it? She can't move in. Why? No, why? Look at this house. Does it look like something you bought or built? Neither did you buy nor build it. Oh, yes. I inherited it. Was your name written in that will? Austin, be rest assured that this is someone's property. And when he comes back, you will give him everything. My darling, the question is, will the rightful owner ever come? No response. Reginald, please. Come upstairs. Thank you. Austin, wait, she, she cannot move in now. You can't just do this like this. She, she, wait. No, 
no, no, she, she, she can't go there. She, Austin. Hey, hey. No, 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 this cannot be happening to me, God. You cannot put me to shame. What is happening? God, you, you can't let this happen. You can't let this happen. Why is this coming now? Why do I feel hot? Why do I get hot when I feel the safest? God, no, 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 no. This cannot be happening to me. No! Austin! Okay, okay. Oh, I'm so tired. I can't wait to get to your bedroom. What bedroom? I am taking you to the guest room. What? Why do I have to stay in the guest room? Oh, do you want to sleep in the kitchen? Regina, please. I am so tensed right now. Don't push me further than this. I can see you are beginning to feel comfortable. Yeah. What is she doing here? What is she doing in our room? Our room? <laughs> and who is the our? Shut up, I wasn't talking to you, you home wrecker. Oh, please, there was no home in the first place. Austin, I am sick and tired of this. I can't take it anymore. What's going on? If you're sick, then leave. Who is stopping you? Uh, um, Evelyn, you heard her. <laughs> If you think you've had enough of all this, like you said, I see no reason why you'll stay here. The only person that should leave is this woman and the bastard in her room. Oh, Don't me. The bastard. Shut up! Are you stupid? Are you mad? What, what, what did you just do? She, you know that one. Don't touch me, please. She has to leave. Austin. Do you want me to kill you here? Austin, you want to hit me? Are, are you mad? Have you lost it? Austin, leave me. Leave me alone. Wait. Oh, what you. is it? Austin, you. Austin, you leave me. Get on. Let me go. You. You. you what? <sighs> Leave my house. Leave me and I'm not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Austin. My friend, leave. Leave me alone. You're not going anywhere. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you okay? If you know what is good for you, if you know what is good for you, stay away from me and everything that is mine. I will never stay away from you. Oh, you want to waste four years of my life with you? Never! I won't let that happen! I'm not going anywhere! Okay, so what do you want to do? What will you do? Keep being a nuisance? Keep ridiculing yourself? Listen, if I were you, I would take the pinch of dignity I have left and disappear into thin air. You lie! Austin, I say you lie! Oh, you want to make me an object of mockery in front of my friends? Never! I won't let that happen! No! I'm not going anywhere! I'm not going. You're not going anywhere. I won't go anywhere. I'm coming into that house now. You're coming into this yes. house? Yes. You're coming into yes. this house? Yes. It's try right. it. Just try it. Austin. Don't. No, don't, don't just try. Austin. Ah! Austin, you want to hit me? I will kill you. You want to beat me? You're good at that. You. Beast, come and beat me. Hit. Kill me. You're going to kill me today. Open up. Open. Austin. Austin, open up. I'm not leaving this house, Austin. You want to waste four years of my life? No way! Austin, open up! This is my right, I'm not leaving anyway. You want to make me an object of mockery? Open up! Austin! 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 I'm sorry about the way I spoke to you the other day. That is not the issue on ground. Madam. 
Why don't you get it? Why do you keep making yourself an object for abuse? Why? Why am I always rejected? Nobody ever wants me. Why? Do not say that. Don't say it. Okay? Listen. I need you to realize when to move on. Know your worth. Do not rely on people to make you feel good about yourself. You are the only one who can make yourself feel happy. And you know it. You have been through a lot and you survived it. You are a strong woman. And I respect you for that. Listen. I need you to be strong. Be strong. And I promise to always be here for you. If that makes you happy. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Can I hug you? What? Can I hug you? <sighs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Just stay here while I answer him, okay? Okay, please, please, please wait. Hey, if, if, he, if he asks about me, please don't tell him I'm here, okay? Okay. Huh? Open sir. the gate for me. Okay, sir. Yes, you just left. Um, did he ask of me? No, he just drove off. Okay. Madam, I don't think you should go in there now. is asking. You just came in yesterday and you're already trying to turn this entire room upside down. Obviously you're looking for something. What are you looking for? I thought you were thrown out of this house. Can't you let go? You still haven't answered my question. How shameless can you be? Obviously this man does not love you. He does not respect you. He does not value you. He does not even want you. So can't you give up? Can't you let go? For who? 
You? <laughs> I understand how painful it is there. It's so painful to see a more capable woman take your place. But in a situation when you can't do anything to help yourself, you just give up. So give up. Yes. Mm. What are you doing here? Last time I checked, we've not broken up yet. So I can still be seen around, right? Oh, I see. You are waiting for a breakup speech or vote of thanks before you realize what's happening? Austin, you're making a big mistake. All right. Tell me about it. That lady you brought in, I don't know, but there's something fishy about her. I'm so sure of it. Evelyn, I wasn't expecting you to praise her. No, listen, this is not coming from a bad place. Oh, yes. It's coming from a good place. Earlier today, I saw her in... Listen, I don't care where you saw her. You are just pained that I dumped your ass. Probably you didn't see it coming. And trust me, I didn't see it coming either. But please, you have to get over it. Because it's over between you and I. No, Austin, please. You can't possibly break up with me, okay? Okay, okay, fine. I accept the child. We can accept the child, but, but you can't just break up with me because of a girl you barely know. No! Fun. Excuse me. Uh, Austin, wait. You, you, you can't just break up with me like this, Austin! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god! Baby, can you please stop? <laughs> now do you expect me to stop? He broke up with me! You have been crying all day. <laughs> you haven't even taken your bath. <laughs> Listen. He broke up with you because he doesn't deserve you. There is a man out there who truly deserves you. You are priceless. You are worth more than gold. You are the best version of yourself. You are beautiful. Every reasonable man's dream. He doesn't deserve you. He doesn't. We shouldn't do this, please. I do not want to take advantage of your vulnerable situation.
How did you start up um, your company? I mean, you're very young and you're doing well already. I did not start the company. Someone else did. So I inherited the company from the person after he died. Mm. Who is he? Your father? My father is still alive. Oh, your uncle? Nope. Your relative? Not at all. So who is he to you? Why are you so curious to know? I'm getting to know you. Is that not the plan? So the first thing you should know about me is who I inherited the company from? Is it too much to ask? Too much for a start. <clears throat> okay. So this one that never had a family or what? Is there a reason behind all those questions? Calm down. I'm just... Hey, hey, hey. I'm done here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey! Who do we have here? Hi. Hi. How are you? I am fine. You're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> um, my guy is no homo. Yeah, he's not back yet. I actually came to see you. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, I was just bored at home and... I'd rather be with you than anyone else. So oh. I got you food. Hey! Wow! Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> you know I like food. I know! <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Um, now that my old guy is not home, I think uh, it's a wonderful avenue for us to have enough time, chat and... Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, and the lady, is she in? Oh, she's inside. Okay, can we go inside yes. if you don't mind? Yes. All right. So how have you been and did you meet Augustine before he started running the company or after? He inherited the company. When I met him, he was only working there. So how did he end up inheriting it? One thing Austin ever wanted was to inherit the company from that man. And he was ready to do even the unthinkable to achieve it. You said something about the one coming back for it. Did he travel? The man died. And he willed everything to someone who was nowhere to be found. According to the will, Austin was left to take care of the properties until the rightful owner comes back. But the big question is, Will the person ever come back, just as Austin said? If no, Austin owns everything. Who is this person? His son. Oh, 
God, where could this be? So when I when I was um, when I was growing up, I had this bad experience that actually got me thinking. I, I was like, "Who oh, really am I?" And you know, things like that don't really. I don't know. <clears throat> but so I didn't really grow up like every other young man. Regina, didn't you see me? And why is the table not set yet? I don't understand. What do you not understand? You don't understand that I will have dinner? I didn't know you were expecting dinner. Why shouldn't I be expecting dinner? Because I am not your wife. Evening, well, you got it all wrong. You must have been desperately waiting to show your true color. <laughs> Wait, oh, what were you thinking? I am a wife material. Eh? Oh. Hey, oh. Is it crazy? Are you okay? Why are you off it? Challenging me in my house. Are you are you out of your mind? Everyone knows you are the crazy one. You are the mad one. Like for me? How would you sound sound you now? You want, are you, you want to hit me? Oh, you want to hit me? Ask me, hit me! If you know you're a man, hit me! You think I'm those girls? I will not take that rubbish from you! Useless man! Try me and see how I'll break this your useless head! Please get out! Rubbish! Regina! Regina, open this door this minute! Please yourself, they need to sleep also. Because you're not sleeping here tonight. Regina, if this is not witchcraft, I don't know what it is. Open this door, this is my house! Maybe not. Maybe not, Austin. What has come over this girl? What are you doing? Regina! 
Regina, your days are numbered in this house. Regina, open this door. Open this door. Oh, no, I'm alone. How are you? How are you? I am fine. You seem really excited. Yes, just a little. <clears throat> this is a pregnancy test result. And it shows positive. Yes. <laughs> Is it for me? You don't look happy. Charles, you and I know that I haven't been intimate with any other man for months. Not even my ex. You're excited that you're pregnant for me. Yes. I am poor. An ordinary gate man. I don't care about any of that. Do you know what this means to me? <laughs> that man called me barren. Are you excited to find out you can actually conceive or you, you're happy to be pregnant for me? both. I'm excited to be pregnant for the one who truly deserves it. You're everything to me I thought I never needed. Charles, you mean so much to me. You were against premarital pregnancy when you were with Austin. You want it now? I just want you to know that I do not regret this. And do you want to be with me? Yes. <laughs> I have something to tell you. Okay. Come. Where is my breakfast? <laughs> Regina, I'm talking to you. Where is my breakfast? Are you not are you not hearing me? What is it? What is the worry for head? I do not go there inside that your brain. You the man I made the shout for. I beg no just try me this morning. Useless man. I want you to go into that house. Bundle Regina out of here. Hmm? Did you not hear what I said? Okay, I heard you. 
But sorry to disappoint you, I cannot bundle anybody out. What? Now you heard what I said. I did it the first time and I regretted it. I won't try it again at all. Huh? I will not do it. Let me tell you a little about myself. Oga, I was an SUG president. I fight for these people, not the other way around. I am not bundling anybody out, Biko. I, and one advice for you, sir. Sorry, sir. See these your shoulders. Bring them down. Please. No condition is permanent in this life. Even this position you occupy today, it is not permanent. Anything can happen, anytime. Eh? Olga, I am a first class graduate. You employed me to take care of your gate, not to be your bouncer. I am not your bouncer. And I cannot be your bouncer. I take care of your gate and your class. And your car too. Hello, Barista. To my compound. All right, I think the door is open. I'll be downstairs in a minute. Okay. Barista. Barrister. Barrister, to what do I owe this visit? I just came to see you. That's fine. Sit down. Thank you. Charles! What is this? What is wrong with you? Why are you dressed like this? Mr. Austin. I will advise you to calm down. Evelyn, what is wrong with you? What are you doing here? I thought I told you that it's over between you and I. I advise you stay mute. I should stay mute? Regina. What is going on? And you, Charles, why are you dressed like this? What is wrong with you? Mr. Austin, I asked you to come down. Th this is my gate man. He is not supposed to be here. My name is Jidenna Anif. Let's chief Anif last of my son. I am not your gate man. You deceived me. You lied to me. And what are you doing here? I didn't want to sell out my identity the very first day I met you. Because that would have ruined my purpose of being here. Which was why we pulled this taunt. Hello? 
Yeah, I'm outside my gate. Okay, you're closed. Okay, I'm waiting. Jide, is this you? Yeah. So when did you return to the country? I have been here for over a week now. Just one week? Just one week. Jide, you said just. So you've been in this country for a whole week and I didn't know about it. I thought I was supposed to be your Niger best now. Of course you are. That's why I'm here. You see, I actually came back for something very serious so I didn't want to announce my arrival so as not to ruin my purpose of coming. Is that serious? Very serious. About my father's company. Oh. You see, um, information reached my mother and I that the guy who is in charge of my father's company has been mishandling it. So my mother asked me to come see things for myself. Jide, you know you're supposed to be the one in charge of your father's company. But you even refused to come for his burial. I don't know what my father did to my mother and I. We had to leave the country for our safety. She did for 20 years. Does that heal the wound? <sighs> okay, fine, it doesn't. So why are you here now? All right, um, my mother asked me to come see the guy. Know everything about him. If actually he's mishandling the company, I should come in. But if he's not, I should leave it for him. So that's why I came. So if indeed he's mishandling things, you're ready to step in and take over the company? On one condition. That's if my father remembered me in his will. <sighs> so what's the plan? I am coming incognito. And I need you. How do I come in? All right. Here is the guy's Facebook address and name. So I need you to follow him up. Okay, one minute. Hello, Jesse. I'm fine. Please, I need your help. Yes, I'm going to be sending a picture to you. I need you to do five minutes background check up on him. Yes, now, please. Thank you. Okay, I just sent um, his picture and name to my girlfriend to just check him out. Okay. She will get back to me very soon. All right. You don't have to worry about anything. I trust my girlfriend. Oh, sorry. Hello, Jesse. Now? For real? Okay. Thank you so much. I'll get back to you. So, what's the news? <clears throat> My girlfriend knows him too well. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. He likes to club after work. A life of a spender. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, in that case, we need to follow him up. First thing tomorrow morning. And uh, I'll try my best to see what I can get. Yeah. I have to follow him up, know his address, I mean, where he lives, and it's done. Okay. I will have to go to his favorite clubhouse tomorrow and maybe try to get him. Okay. Okay. By the way, I think I have to I have to host you. Of course. You don't even need to think. We are going right away. <laughs> mm. My day is in the country. For you? Oh, God. 
Calm down. Calm down. I know you can watch her face. Of course. Oh, where are you? I'm here, baby. I know you can wait to have me. And I'm all yours tonight. you were being wicked to me by making me your gate man. But that was actually what I wanted. I wanted to be close to you. I wanted to know you. I never showed up at the company. I used two stones to kill one bird. One, I succeeded in bringing Regina into your house. And me, coming to work for you. Luckily for us, both of them were the hit. And unfortunately for you, 
treated false like animals. After seeing all this, all I needed was the barrister's information to know what was written in my father's view. And that was the main reason we can have moved him. Who was that? Never mind. It's nothing. Charlie has explained everything to me. We made research on Marista John, whose name is on the way. And uh, we've been able to get his direct contact. I reached out to him and we have a meeting tomorrow. Uh, Though he doesn't know me yet. Perfect. That means our mission is almost done. Almost. Where have you been? How have you been? Every single day your father prayed. He wished he lays his eyes on you, or at least hears from you. Uh, my father's mistress was bent on taking my life and that of my mother. That was after she lost her daughter because she felt my mother was responsible for the death of her daughter. So she was all of ours. So, and my father. My father put our lives at risk because he couldn't stay faithful to my mother. So, we decided to run decided to flee for our lives and we decided to keep our whereabouts a secret honestly I wish I had come back earlier though but it is what it is I just wish we can turn back the hand of time your father would have done things differently. He grew old, a very lonely man. May his soul continue to rest in peace. So now that you are here, I am certain you want to take a look at your father's will. I have seen it already. Really? Yes. Barrister John, I want what belongs to me. Mr. Austin, I know you are aware of what is written in the will. Therefore, the son of the late chief is here to take over his father's properties. He may give you a share of the properties, but that is completely his decision to make. I have one thing to tell you, Augustine. The same woman you called Barry is Karen a thing for a real man. And being that we never had sex, the pregnancy test results is fake. I am not carrying your child.
Oh, well done, Mr. Austin. We will be handing over the documents to all the properties to him the day after tomorrow. You can be in my office also if you want to. You're welcome. But if you don't want to come, it's still alright. <laughs> 